In this video, we're going to look at uh, setting up conditionals with greater or less than and equal to signs, uh, expanding on what we did in the previous project. In this, you can see I already have a demo loaded. Uh, up here, we have age. We have the age variable. If it's greater than two, we want to uh, say you don't need diapers. So if I come and right click on my variables here, I can change it to a large readout where it doesn't show the name of the variable or to a slider, which makes it draggable. Now you can see is if I click on the green flag, I'm, my variable is greater than uh, 40 or two, so it reads you don't need diapers. If I click it when it's at zero, I get no response to it. So if we go and look at this in another scenario, so again, I still have that slider set up, but here, if my age variable is greater than three or equal to three, you don't need diapers. So if I would drag this and get it to three, you're gonna notice because we have this or, like we set up in the previous one, uh, if either of these conditionals are met, then this will run. If I drop it below that, uh, you're going to see nothing occurs because I don't have anything set up for this. So I could, let's just duplicate this program really quick. And let's change this to 2. And let's change this out and get an operation here. And let's uh, grab our less than block. Of course, they did not stack, so let's get those stacked inside of each other. And let's say less than two as well. And let's nest that. There we go. So now let's look at that program run. Uh, and we should say you need diapers. Let's make that change. So if we see. We need diapers when that conditional meets less than two. When it's greater than two, you don't need diapers. So again, this is just a way to set up your conditionals using uh, less than or greater than or equal to signs. And again, new introduction here of our slider. As we set up our variable, we set up our variable here and we made it a slider.